Before refrigeration, people stored foods in underground cellars or shacks filled with snow and ice. Then in the early 1900s, a French inventor developed the first machine to cool and preserve foods at home. The modern refrigerator comes in countless styles, sizes, and colors. Manufacturing begins with coiled sheets of steel. Just one of these coils produces hundreds of fridge exteriors. The interiors are made from rust-resistant aluminum lined with an acrylic shell. A shearing machine slices the steel into pieces for the exterior top, back, and sides. Then, each one goes into a computerized punch press that makes the holes for running various wires. A brake press forces the steel against a forming die to create edges. Next, workers place the pieces of the refrigerator's outer shell in an assembly jig which holds them firmly together. Now for the fridge's interior. A vacuum forming machine heats a sheet of plastic and shapes it against an aluminum mold. Then, a router carves off all the excess plastic. The freezer half of the refrigerator slides perfectly into the metal outer shell and the fridge side follows. Copper tubes filled with heated gas are laid along the outer edge where the door contacts the fridge. The gas prevents moisture buildup. A pre-cut face frame goes onto the assembly. Then, foam is injected into the cavity between the interior and exterior shells. This foam not only insulates the refrigerator, but gives it structural rigidity as well. This evaporator plays a key role in keeping things cool. It draws the heat out of the freezer and its contents. Next, the electrical control panel goes into place. It connects to a maze of wires and eventually a microprocessor. With the freezer side almost complete, the fridge side gets its evaporator. Next comes the refrigerator doors. Two compressors pump fluid and gas through the various tubes inside. This component, called the radiator, dissipates the heat collected from the food. Workers attach the expansion valves. These allow the pressurized liquid coolant to expand into a cold gas that circulates through the refrigerator's tubes. Copper tubes are soldered to the compressor. Later, they'll be filled with refrigerant. Temporary quick connect valves allow the system to be charged with inert gas to check for any leaks. The fill hoses are connected and the gas flows in. Inspectors use this wand to check the tubes for escaping gas. If there's a leak, the gauge spikes out of the specified range. Refrigeration occurs as cold gas in the evaporator coils pulls heat energy from inside the fridge. The compressor then changes the gas back to a liquid while the radiator dissipates the collected heat. The expansion valve turns the liquid back into a cold gas and the cycle repeats. With a charging gun, workers inject refrigerant gas into each tube, then weld the ends of the tubes shut. Now for the finishing touches, starting with the refrigerator handles. Drawers for fruits and vegetables slide right in. So do the rest of the pre-made shelves and compartments. Finally, an adhesive logo goes onto the door. Built-in, standalone, double door, or traditional, the refrigerator keeps our food fresh and cool just the way we like it.